Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope you're having an awesome day. We're back here in Dragon Vale with the Arcane Pen Tournament. And you can see we've maxed out 12,654 rings from yesterday. And we're getting back into the game today, hoping to max out one more set of rings, which is uh, 1,000 rings per day. And we're going to get started by cashing out our rings in our parade. And we got a hundred rings, and we're going to share that success with the person we were co oping the uh, arena with. So let's get our arena going. That's the first thing we like to do. Because you can play the arena quite a few times, and I like to make sure it's going bef just before I max out. Because then you'll get the additional wings, the rings that you've won in the arcade even after you've maxed out they'll go into your gift so we got my dragon is a uh, earth and we'll pick our earth elder dragon there and friends dragon is an air dragon and let's see if anyone has an air dragon up and there's quite a few here with the air element and here's a level 20 air dragon that's perfect we're going to use that one and start our arena and the next is Cashing out our rings from the parade, and we got 60 they've maxed out, so we can get that started again. And our prize today 8% treats and one gem. So 8% of your treats, so maybe you can get your food, grow some food, and add a bit of food to your park, and you'll get 8% of whatever's in your food. Now I got 18 million here, so maybe I should get that prize before I decide to feed any dragons and use up my food because that'll just lower my prize for the day. So that's the prize for today and let's go put another wish in the wishing well and the number just keeps getting bigger and bigger and it's probably got a long way to go because you can see that progress bar is just on the small part of the start of that bar so it's a long ways to go still and let's go do some games for today now the games that I like the make a match is great uh, it works really well on the double weekends but I'm starting to like the name that dragon and the name that egg game or those games because they're connected and they do give you quite a few rings I think you get the most rings um, in those two games so let's start with the name that dragon and see if we can figure out what this dragon is. Now that's a tough one. But uh, it's not a root or a seed. And I don't think it's a copper. So it may be the Teridium. Now to check that, all you need to do is go out of that game and into the name that egg. And you can see the egg right there. So it looks like it's the copper to me. Because I think the Teridium egg is different. That's not the Teridium egg. Or a Teridium that's probably the way you pronounce it. So let's say that is the copper and take a chance and see if we got it and it is the copper. Awesome, so let's try it again and stay with the eggs. Uh, and that's not the Terra Diem egg or the solstice. And I would say that is the swamp egg, that's my guess. And we got it. And now this is a cool looking egg. And I would say it's the jet. Because I don't think it's any of these other ones. So my guess is the jet egg, jet dragon. And there it is. Cool. So far so good. Uh, now this one's an Okanite, I believe. I'm pretty sure it's an Okanite. So let's hit the Okanite button and we got it. So each time you guess the egg or the dragon, you get 30 rings. If you get all 10, that's 300 rings. So that's a pretty decent chunk of rings for the day. Let's try this again, and uh, that's probably, it's a pretty basic looking egg. I would say that's the earth. That's my guess. But let's get out of here and go back into the name that dragon, and that definitely looks like an earth baby dragon to me. So let's hit earth, and we got it. So if you're not sure, it helps to go into the other game and see the egg or the dragon and hopefully you'll you'll guess the right dragon and my guess is this is the herald which is one of the new dragons 
in this event. And you can go right here, and that's definitely the Herald Egg. And we got another 30 rings. We got four plays left to go. And here's another new dragon, the Valor. It's a very cool looking egg. I love that egg. And the dragon looks pretty awesome as well. And let's go one more time. We got three left. And this is, if I get this right, is probably the fog. What do you think? Is that the fog egg? Let's go back into our name that dragon. And that does look like a baby fog dragon. So let's tap fog. And we got fog right on. We got two more to go. And this looks like the fair dragon. That's a pretty easy one. I recognize those gorgeous dragon wings anywhere. And there's the fair dragon. And the last guess. What do you got here? Oh, this is pretty easy. Come on, you know what this dragon is. Say it. Say it with me. The Clover Dragon, of course. And we got all 10, so that's 300 rings. We got from the Name That Dragon and the Name That Egg game. And we're done. If we hit it again, it'll just tell us we're out of plays. And come back when the game resets in 20 hours. So that's our games. That's the Games Island done. We're going to collect our giveaway uh, I guess a little later on after we collect our food. So let's go do that right now. We'll set up our food and get that going. Maybe do our food a couple of times. It's always a good thing to get your food going or growing your food in your farms if you have the coins to do it. It does eat into your coins a bit. So I use the, the lower amount prizes with the seaweed is five million coins for each farm which does add up. If you've got the coins I definitely do it. You can also use the lower one like I think it's the cranberry, the, the red one, the red food. Uh, that's a, uh, only takes a minute and it takes a, a, a lot less coins. So let's go check out our quests. Gia is all done and we got two keys from Gia and we're gonna pick chest number two and whoa nice prize 475,000 coins that'll grow lots of food and then 50,000 so we got 50,000 food so we got the top two prizes there that's awesome and we're gonna start a quest here we got 20 coins off of that quest I'm sorry not coins rings and we're gonna start a quest here with Gia so the Lantern Deeps is going to be the Abyss Dragon. There it is right there. We got it. Send him on a quest, or her on a quest. And let's go check out Kairos. We got two keys from the Plunder Thunder quest. And we're going to try chest number one. 47,500 food. And let's see... It's so hard to choose a chest. You don't want to choose the lower one. But let's choose number three. Oh, we got a gem. That's good. A gem is always good. We missed that 512,000 coins, but do I want to buy it with three gems? I guess I do. Let's buy it for three gems. So we got all three chests on that one. That's, that's great. That's very, very cool. Awesome. And we're going to send a quest. We got 20 more rings off of that one. Send another quest, The Awakening. Ooh, wasn't that the name of a movie? Ah, The Awakening is going to be the Dawn Dragon. There it is right there, the Dawn Dragon. And let's send the Dawn Dragon on a quest. So that's our quest done with Gia and Kairos. And our nursery is next. And we got some cool dragons in here, particularly the Fates Dragon. And I'm going to hatch a Fates Dragon because I have a cool idea I want to do with these Fates Dragons. And I guess my, my hibernation cave is full. So I'm going to have to clear out some dragons from my hibernation cave. And the way I do that, when you have 300 dragons, it's hard to find a dragon that you want to sell or get rid of. So what I do is I go in 
to my Dragonarium and I hit all and all again to see all my dragons and it's a bit of a process but I go down the list and I look for dragons that I have a lot of like this Apocalypse Dragon I've got four and then I can see they're all level 15 and I just continue down the list and here's a Bazurian I've got four of that and they're all leveled up except for that one that was level 10 but I look for like I want to keep my moon dragons here's some brass dragon there's four of them and see I got three level one brass dragons and I really don't need all those brass dragons I could probably sell smolder down here at the bottom so I'm gonna go find it and I'm pretty sure it's in the hibernation cave and it is so I'm gonna go in here and get my turn on my metal filter button and go there's cinder that's another one and they're all in here a level one and smolder is right there so I'm gonna sell smolder to make room I get a million dragon cash which is fine I don't think I get any rings off of that now I can put my flicker dragon because I want to hatch the flicker dragon and put it into the hibernation cave and there is a cool flicker dragon and that's I think the fourth flicker dragon I've, I've gotten and here I don't need this monolith dragon so I'm going to sell this monolith dragon and fireworks dragon I'm good so I can sell that one and here's a flower dragon and I'm fine with flower dragon now apparently that all those twins that I got yesterday were part of a glitch in the game where it would crash when you went to collect your dragon from the co-op and if you had a twin it would crash but it would send that twin and then when you came back into your game you'd still have your twin there waiting and you try it again it would crash and each time you crash it would send that twin so it was sending multiple twins which was a game glitch and I'm pretty sure it's been fixed now but that's why uh, a lot of us got m multiple twin dragons and I'll show you quickly if you go into the social tab I got three fates dragons but if I scroll down here I'll show you I got a about 15 flower dragon twins which are all right here you can see them all and all from the same friend so the crash was happening in her park and I ended up with all these twin flower dragons pretty amazing it didn't look normal so it it's not really a, a, a big surprise that it was a glitch so there's our nursery all emptied out. We're going to see what we got in our breeding cave. And it's another monolith. And it's a pretty high breed time. So it might be monolith 6 or hopefully monolith 6 or it might be one of the other monolith dragons. But we're going to start this again and keep going. And here's another one. And it's another monolith dragon. And it looks like it's a... Uh, another high breed time um, you know that would be amazing if I got two monolith 6 but it would be also amazing if one of them is a monolith 6 so I'm going to start this one again get that going and our co-op is done we were trying for one of the new dragons but we ended up with a Olympus dragon it looks like it's the bronze Olympus dragon so let's see what we can do for a co-op here and there's a gold Olympus right there that we were breeding with and we were trying to get the Thunderbolt Dragon so we're going to see if we can find a Thunderbolt Dragon on the side Thunderbolt Dragon coming up anytime soon there it is and we're going to breed you and keep our fingers crossed hopefully get a Thunderbolt Dragon and that's it for our breeding caves and let's go check our Colosseum, it's all done and we're gonna finish it and you usually get 25 rings from that, oh we got 50 that's even better 
And we'll start it up again. It looks like it's a dark dragon, a dark event, so we're going to put in our dark elder. Get that going, and we can cash out our coins on all our habitats. Because they're all maxed out. Or pretty close to it. And get all these guys. And one other thing I want to do is put another egg into Gia because it looks like she has a spot open. Make sure she's full as possible. And we got four, so we can add one more spot to Gia. She's not active yet. So we'll go into our social menu and I'm going to put in that other Fates Dragon. I got those Fates Dragons I want to breed. And just scroll all the way down quickly. Get the Fates Dragon. It's just below all these flower dragons. And we'll get to it hopefully soon. I don't want to go too fast because I'm going to end up missing them. There's just two. Oh, it's below. Look at See, I got all these pepper dragons as well. And that was from the glitch also. So I ended up with a whole bunch of pepper dragons. You can see they're all from the same friend. And come on, Fates Dragons. There they are. Now they've been separated, but that's okay. We'll collect one and fill up Gia. All set to go. So I'll wait till those are done. And we can finish collecting our eggs, our coins, sorry. Got dragon eggs on the brain there. So we'll get all these coins, cash them out super quick. And here's our cold island. Get that ornamental habitat there. Here's our metal. Oh, we got three gems on the gem island. Yay! Oh, and got some rings off of that too. And no gems here yet. I should be getting some soon. And cash out all these guys, get lots of coins so we can breed our food a few more times. And then we'll go get our prize from the giveaway gallery. It's always good to know what the prize is and then you can prepare for it by collecting more coins or more food. Because this is a new thing, a percentage of your food and a percentage of your coins. And there's all our coins collected. Our food's going. And we're going to see if we can find a banner bearer. This does take a bit of time, but if we get lucky, we can find one almost straight away. We'll zoom in. And take a quick look around for a banner bear. There's one right there, the plant. And there's another one that looks like our house. That's our house. We got a gem and 25 rings from that. And if you tap this button up in the left side with the visitors, it'll say there's more banner bearers in your house. And we'll look for the other ones a bit later on. Because it does take a bit of time to find them all. And it's a busy park today, almost 400 visitors. Wow, that's a lot of visitors. So lots going on in the park. So that's pretty much everything for what we need to do in the park today. We're just going to do a couple of races because we love dragon races. Lightning lunge, and we got a lightning and air. And these are all the lightning and air dragons that we can use in our race. And I'm going to try a different dragon I haven't used in a while. Let's try the Liberty Dragon, see how well that does. This is a, a new dragon that's just been made available again. And here we go. Liberty Dragon, do your stuff. Race down that track. And don't look back. He's doing great. He's doing really, really well. Keep going, keep going. You're almost there. Just a little bit more to go. And first prize. Nicely done. And we got one key. So let's try chest number one. 21,000. 
That's an okay prize. And we're going to try Airy Am Avenue. And this one is snow or cold and air. And got a snow and a blizzard. This is a great way to find the dragons for your race. Just tap on the filters, tap on the two buttons that are shown at the top in the filter. And you'll get your dragons in the list. And normally, any of the dragons will do well for your race. Just make sure you tap on those bars. Here goes the snow dragon. Come on, snow baby. Let's go down the track. See, he's doing really, really well. Keep tapping those bars and watch your snow dragon fly down the track. And into first place. And we got two keys that time. We're going to try the center one. That's a good prize, 285,000 coins. And let's try chest number three. And we, no, that's not bad. Not bad at all. I don't want to spend three gems for that food there. So we're going to take those prizes. So let's check our news. There's a new dragon that's been made available. And we're going to go check them out right now. Go into news. And the leaf dragon is back. And you get a bit of info here on the leaf. You can buy the leaf for 1350 or 1350 gems. It's got a breed time of 1 day and 13 hours, which works out to 37 hours. And it's a seasonal dragon for your seasonal habitat. And I'm going to go see. I don't even know if I have this dragon. I don't even think I do. So I'm going to go into my dragonarium and let's go to seasonal and no I don't it's the one dragon I don't have out of the seasonal dragons so that's pretty cool once my monolith dragons are done in one of these let's see what uh, times we got here oh we got two hours so we don't have long to wait and that's 12 that's a different time that may not be a monolith dragon so we got two hours here, so after this breeding cave, a breeding island is done, we'll start breeding for our leaf dragon and try to get that. That'll be very cool. So let's go look at the leaf dragon again. Go into seasonal. Now I don't think I can oh we can get the info here too. So there's the leaf dragon and the the combos that we're going to try will either be a swamp and a luminous or a meadow and a lotus. We might go with the meadow and a lotus. But like we said, it's 37 hours or you can buy it for 1,350 gems. So we're going to get that going in our park and try for the leaf dragon. I'm very happy that's back. And also the leaf dragon is our featured dragon for today. And it's a very cool dragon. I hope we can get it without too many tries. And one last thing I'd like to do before we wrap things up for today is I'm going to go into here and I'm going to just talk about the combos that you can use to get some of these dragons. And of course one combo that did work and worked for us was for the Iron Blossom. And that's using the, the Thorn. Now all these combos need to be uh, done in the co-op breeding cave. So you, if you have a thorn, you find a friend with an iron blossom, and you can breed and try to get the iron blossom. And we did do that. So it's definitely a, a working pair. Now the other house dragons are not breedable at the moment, or there aren't any reported combos for those. If you go into gold, we have the herald dragon, and combos for the herald dragon have been uh, a Fates, or a Double Rainbow, or a Cyclops. So if you have any of those three, three dragons, uh, you can find a friend with a Herald, try breeding with one of those three dragons, and try to get the Herald Dragon. And in Hidden Bolt, we have the, I guess it's in the gold, we have the Stygian Dragon, and reported combos for the Stygian, have been the gold dragon or any Olympus dragon and possibly a the Cyclops dragon. But you can try the gold or any Olympus dragon with a Stygian 
in co-op. Let's see if you can get that one. Icy Torrent has the Squall Dragon. And combos with the Squall have been either a Flicker or a Snowflake 5. So if you have a Flicker or a Snowflake 5 Dragon, find a friend with a Squall and try breeding the Squall. And hope you get the Squall Dragon. And going into the Mountain Sun, we have the Thunderbolt Dragon, which we were looking at earlier. And the Thunderbolt has been working for people uh, using a Fates or Gold Olympus in co-op. And all these dragons are 34 hours, and they're 27 hours, 12 minutes in an upgraded, uh, upgraded um, cave or island. But in co-op, I don't know how that works. <laughs> Because you only get the co-op. I don't think you can upgrade the co-op island. But there you are. There are some combos that I found around. And good luck breeding for those dragons. I hope you get them without too many tries. And without too many uh, huge fails. So that wraps everything up for today. So thanks for watching again. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos on Dragonvale and the Arcade Pen Tournament. And we will see you next time.